I don't know why I was asked to play deputy director Avery Bullock <laughs> in American Dad, but it has given me as much pleasure as almost anything in my career, not just because the writing is brilliant and scabrous and offensive <laughs> <laughs> and, and provocative, um, but because the people themselves are such adorable people, um, starting with Seth MacFarlane and Mike Barker, um, ex extraordinary individuals. And um, it, I, I sometimes feel that, that I was the subject of some kind of private joke when they cast me <laughs> that, that I've never quite understood. But they have assured me that a point will come, and we're now recording our eighth season of American Dad, and occasionally I show up in, in uh, Family Guy too. <clears throat> Susie the baby, that's me. <laughs> um, They've assured me that a, a, a scene will happen when all those stupid agents are sitting around, and one of them will say, have you noticed the way Deputy Director Bullock talks? It's not like the rest of us. <laughs> and, and indeed, I talk like this. You know, I couldn't be more possibly English. <laughs> and then, but um, so that will be the signal that the series is about to come to an end, I think, when they finally realize that an Englishman is actually running the CIA. <laughs> it's a good joke, isn't it? Yeah. Um, they are... They're, I've only been able to record them actually in their studios in Los Angeles three or four times, and those experiences are the most delightful. And there have only been two occasions when I've had to say, guys, I can't say that. <laughs> I, I really can't say that. One of them was about a friend of mine, and the other one was so politically offensive and incorrect that... Uh, and you know the nice and charming thing is that they say, OK, what do you want to say? <laughs> it's that delightful. <laughs>